search Let's Math Magic in YouTube, visit our channel, subscribe to us, press the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video on maths. One day, a pencil met with a scale. The pencil told to the scale, Let's play something. They made a line segment. So the pencil and scale made a line segment together. Now, another compass came. It told, I will also play. So then, the compass came and uh, the compass put its pin to the left corner, the left uh, end point of the line segment and then it made an arc. What is an arc? Arc is a portion of a circle. So the compass made an arc. Now, keeping the measurement of the compass same, the compass again put its pin to the intersection point of the line segment and the previous arc and then make another one arc, that is the second arc, intersecting the first arc. See the video? I hope all of you will understand. Then keeping the same measurement once again, the compass put its pin to the previous intersection point and made a new intersection point, that is the third arc and the first arc. Okay? Now we have got two intersection points and then here we have three arcs, first arc, second arc and the third arc. Now keeping the two intersection points, so see the first intersection point see the video so we will join now the first intersection point and the uh, point that the left boundary of the line segment let us join it so we have joined that two points and we have got a line segment now see we have formed an angle so this angle is the 60 degree angle we call it 60 degree now if we join the next intersection point as we can see in the video we will get another 60 degree and all together we will get 120 degree so let's join it we have joined it and see we have got another angle this is 60 degree and the last one that we have got that is 120 degree now we will make uh, 90 degree now I am keeping the compass measurement same and see what I am doing so we have put the compass pin to the intersection point of the first arc and the second arc and we have made a new arc and then we are going to the left intersection point see the video and we are making another arc so that we can intersect the previous arc see we have got intersection point now with this intersection point we will again join the left boundary point of the line segment and we will get a new angle that is 90 degree let's join it all of you please follow the video so we have joined it so see we have got the 90 degree angle so this is the 90 degree angle now we will learn how to bisect an angle now using these three components we have already made this three angle scale pencil and compass so the first one was 60 degree the second one was 120 degree and the last just now we have got that is 90 degree okay this angle is 90 degree we will get more two angles by bisecting two angles that is 90 degree and 60 degree so let's learn how to bisect an angle so when we have an angle we have two arms like see here 60 degree having two arms so when we are bisecting an angle we are actually bisecting the 60 degree and we are getting the half of 60 degree that is 30 degree so let's see how we can do it I'm keeping the compass measurement same and I'm putting the compass pin here where the first arc and the line segment see the video and putting the compass pin once again to that point where is the 60 degree angle is forming now see we have got a new intersection between two arcs and now we will do the same thing we will join this intersection point and the the left end point of the line segment and we will get the half of 60 degree that is 30 degree that is the bisector of 60 degree so let's join it we have joined and we have got 30 degree angle okay now in the same way if we bisect 90 degree we will get 45 degree once we will now uh, bisect the 90 degree then we will get 45 degree so let's bisect it and uh, we have uh, now increased the compass measurement a bit 
so now we are putting the compass pin over here all of you please follow the video and we have made an arc then again we are putting the compass pin on the 90 degree mark see the 90 degree line and the arc and we have made a new arc and we have got a new intersection point and now we will do the same thing the joining the intersection point with the left end of the line segment and we have got the angle that is 45 degree all of you can see the video and we have got the 45 degree angle now now protector came and he told that I will now verify what you have done so what we can see in the video we can verify our angles using the protector that we have got the exact same angle or not so uh, right now as I'm doing all of you will please check it and verify your results by using protector so now we will name this angles that we have got so we are giving the names basically on the intersection point and the line segment as we have started with the line segment AB we are give, we have given the line segment name AB and then we are carrying forward with the next uh, letters that is A B C D E F G H L like this way or else you can give any other names P Q R S X Y Z any name you can give so what we can see F A B is the 120 degree right and then if we give that uh, name G so here you see G A B is our 90 degree angle okay students now next on we are giving that mark H and next if we give I and then that I A B is actually our angle 60 degree right next on if we see that we give the name according to the uh, next next uh, letters that J K L M accordingly then we can see that angle K A B is our bisector of the 90 degrees so that this K A B will be 45 degree K A B is half of 90 so K A B will be 45 degree that is half of 90 degree and the next one we have got M A B see the video M A B so the angle M A B is a half of 60 degree actually we have bisected 60 degree and we have got M A B so half of 60 is 30 degree so M A B will be our 30 degree angle so I hope students all of you have understood how we draw the angles this 120 90 60 45 and 30 using the scale pencil and compass if there is any more doubts please comment down below i'll make the next video depending on your doubts okay i hope all of you are doing maths every day and best of luck for your forthcoming examination bye bye for this video meet you in the next video very soon